Yeah, uh, Mike, as Florida gets ready for it, here back home, minimal impacts expected. we got a couple showers possible today, a couple tomorrow, and then breezier winds Thursday, but that's about it. So if you're out and about today, it's going to be warm and uh, gradually turning less humid over the next several days, but especially by the end of the week. As of 10 a.m. this morning, we had Tropical Storm Helene named. It's in the Northwest Caribbean. It is moving northwest at 12 miles an hour. It is not looking all that healthy right now this afternoon. That's great news because if we can put off intensification as far as much as possible, then maybe that'll help us out down the road for Florida. But here's what I'm talking about. Whenever you can see the low level circulation exposed over the ocean waters and there's no really storms around it, that means the storm is still battling some wind shear. Now, eventually we do think that wind shear will begin to relax once it reaches the Gulf, but that may not be really till tomorrow. So we may not see significant intensification until late Wednesday and going into Thursday. So I want to show you here the track with overlaid uh, model data and showing you where the storm will be traveling. So here we go. Let's put it in motion. The official track brings it up towards Cancun and Cozumel late tonight and early tomorrow morning, probably as a healthy tropical storm. It's going to sit there for a little bit and then it starts to make that turn to the north. So the turn to the north will happen tomorrow. It looks like late tomorrow morning into the afternoon and then strengthening as a category one storm. Notice traveling along. Here's Florida. There's New Orleans well to our east. And that's when it really undergoes that significant strengthening late Wednesday night through Thursday morning as it sits off the west coast of Florida. It moves north and makes landfall in the Big Bend area as we go into Thursday evening. Hurricane Center saying a category three storm. So we always say prepare for a category higher. So you got to be preparing for a major strike here along the Big Bend area. That includes Tallahassee near Panama City over towards Gainesville. And then it quickly moves inland. And with that quick movement, a lot of those winds are going to translate further inland. So even Atlanta going to be dealing with a tropical storm here as we go into early, early Friday morning. So late Thursday night, early Friday, and then it quickly moves on out and begins to dissipate. Now the reason for the turn and we know this turn is going to happen will be tomorrow as this ridge backs away. So notice the orange backs out of the Gulf. That's the ridge weakening and that will allow the turn here. So it will slow down as it begins to turn and then as it begins to move north, it will speed back up thanks to this trough low pressure that's going to grab onto it, send it to the north, and eventually it will get absorbed up into that upper level low pressure this weekend. Our tropical models agree with this, moving northwest, slowing down tonight, turning north tomorrow, and then speeding back up on Thursday as it makes landfall right around the Big Bend area Thursday evening. Here back home, local impacts minimal. Once again, a couple showers today, slightly better chance of rain on Wednesday. Fast forwarding into Thursday, notice some of the outer bands trying to get thrown our way, but a lot of them don't make it. And then here comes the hurricane right there, moving up through the Big Bend area and quickly up into Georgia. Our winds will be gustier on Thursday, but that's about the extent of our wind impacts from this. You can see there 20 to 30 mile an hour Thursday morning, a lot gustier out in the Gulf waters Thursday afternoon. Your tropical storm conditions will be just to our east and then elsewhere. You can see it's not too bad. 20 to 30 mile per hour gust. Uh, the Saints are going to Atlanta. So is Helene. How's it going to work out? Well, the main impacts in Atlanta will be Thursday into Friday morning. Things improve this weekend. Sunday for the Saints game up there, 81 degrees and partly cloudy skies. That is doable. So our seven day forecast, things get better by the end of this week. It's warm and muggy today. We'll see a couple showers tomorrow. Breezy on Thursday with Helene making landfall to our east and then less humid air, really nice air moving in Friday and Saturday with some of those cooler mornings. The marine forecast heads up for boaters. Today is going to be the final day this week where we don't have any gusty winds. Tomorrow winds will be slightly stronger, but Thursday certainly going to be a chop out there. Seven to ten feet out in the Gulf waters and then even higher uh, chop as you head off towards the east there towards Florida. Our high tide that was this morning and our low tide is this afternoon.